with meteorologist Sarah Gannon. Well, we have enjoyed yet another beautiful and mild day out there across the region. Many of us getting into those 40s and 50s to get today for those high temperatures. It has been absolutely beautiful. Here's a live look outside from your Lewis Donato Live at Cameron Network. We are looking at a few clouds passing through here this afternoon, but overall, not too bad. Right now, things are looking pretty decent as we check in downtown Rochester. Your temperature is right now sitting at 47 degrees here in the Rochester area. Notice, though, our dew point at about 30 degrees, so we still have some dry air pretty close to the surface here, so that will inhibit any activity that looks to pass through. Temperatures area-wide, we are looking at those 40s and 50s still in the area here this evening. Looking at those lower 50s across northern Iowa, 52 in Charles City, Decorah, Mason City, 48 in Austin and Preston, 46 in Albert Lee and Dodge Center, 48 right now in Winona. As we look forward, the rest of tonight, conditions looking to stay pretty quiet. We'll look to see sky cover gradually clearing out and overall staying mild. Now we are looking at a pretty active Monday for the area, anticipating some record warmth on the way as high temperatures climb into the 60s area wide. Then we look to Tuesday and Wednesday and we're looking at the chance for some snow to pass through, but also a big temperature drop headed our way as well. So first, let's talk about these record potential temperatures for our area. Here's our forecast at highest for some of our bigger cities in the area. Rochester anticipating to be at 62, 64 for that forecast at high in Albert Lee, 45 in Austin, 47 in Mason City. That's how warm we're forecasted to get for tomorrow. Check out our records. We look to easily surpass those records in many locations and some of these records dating back not only to 2000 but even back towards the 70s and 50s. So we are looking at a pretty good chance at seeing some record setting temperatures area wide tomorrow. We're also looking at some strong winds for the upcoming week. Tomorrow we could be looking at gusts up towards about 35 to 40 miles per hour. We stay pretty windy throughout the the upcoming work week as well. Now, when we check in with your future track radar, things overall pretty quiet. We've got some cloud cover pulling through the area, and you may be noticing some rain showers passing through. Well, again, our dew points are in the 30s. Our temperatures are in the 40s. We've got dry air close to the surface. When we check on our current observations, none of that activity actually making it to the ground again because of that dry air. So we stay pretty quiet here through tonight. High pressure continues to dominate the upper Midwest, but we're tracking our next low pressure system still up towards Canada. And as we head towards Tuesday into Wednesday, that brings us our next precipitation chance. So as we look through the rest of tonight, we stay pretty quiet. Then as we start off the clock there tomorrow morning, 6 a.m., temps will be in the 30s. Wind gusts manageable about 20 miles per hour. Watch those wind gusts throughout the afternoon, peaking towards about 35, 40 miles per hour as our high temperatures for the afternoon climbing into those 60s. Then we pull into Tuesday. We'll start off the day mild in the 40s. Wind gusts not too bad, but then by Tuesday, late in the day, temperatures drop. Winds continue to pick up and we track that next precip chance there Tuesday night into Wednesday, looking at some maybe some minor mixing and some light snow is possible there. Temperatures tonight stay mild into the 30s as we look forward to tomorrow. Very windy for the area, gusts up towards about 40 miles per hour and record warmth expected with highs in the 60s. Notice that big temperature drop 60s on Mondays to low 20s by Wednesday. Nick.